hello welcome back to the channel and uh, we have this this um, 4g light 3 in 1 supposed to um, support a hotspot and can connect up to 10 devices the good thing with this um you can connect to any power source can be your phone adapter your phone charging adapter yeah it's more advanced to this this the modem that you are used to the mac os and um, in this video, I'm going to configure this uh, for the light USB modem. And I'm going to unbox it and configure it. This is my first time uh, holding this and having this modem, and I love it. So we're going to configure this with you guys. Uh, it has some manual, this uh, USB manual. Okay, it's okay. It's just going to configure it to you guys. Because I'm having this for the first time and I've been seeing it online and uh, so let's try. I'm going to open this. So for the light, it looks good. Mm -hmm. This one has uh, this the keys and blah blah blah. So here you open. This way you're going to plug on your um, any adapter that you have. So this is a SIM card slot. You're going to put the SIM card right there. And okay, for now you don't have any SIM card, but I hope it will still connect. You don't have to have a SIM card right now. So first thing I'm going to connect my uh, modem to the power. And uh, to my case, I'm going to use the um, my phone charging adapter. Let me show you. Yeah, this is what I'm going to use. I'm just going to uh, to put it like that and i'm going to plug in on power and i'm going to show you how like how plug in on power so this is where i'm going to put i'm just going to put it on there and um yeah it's blinking you can see the power is blinking and uh, after plugging it i'm going to go back to my laptop let me push so that you can see both of them at the same time you can see our that's our modem and this is the laptop that we are going to configure it using this laptop okay so guys you can see uh, that's our that's our modem let me push a little bit so that you can see it and uh, according to this manual we are going to let it uh, until it turns to a blue color so that you can see it on our wi-fi we will wait until it's read so this is our this is our wi-fi this the um, this is the wi-fi for the modem and uh, it's uh, calling for for the person and uh, the password is uh, right here after going to this this also our, our um, ssid name and this is our password so this is what we're going uh, to fill it uh, right here the one two three four five six seven eight nine and zero click next uh click the yes so it's saying a um, it is connected so next thing i'm going to open my browser my laptop is uh, it's kind of newly installed so i'm going just to just use uh, microsoft explore and we are going to use this uh, ip address this is the ip address it's um we're going to google this and search so 182.168.100.1 that's what we're going to enter it there so let's wait and here it's our it's a bringing that's our 4g light router and it has a password now the password for logging in it, uh, it has a default password for logging in uh, and the password for logging in it's uh, this is the admin login password that we're going to use to log in to this router so it's going to type admin and click uh, log in so you can see our 
router like our modem is still on there so so guys i'm going to just zoom in this one let me zoom in a little bit and uh, i'm going to change the wi-fi keys and password wi-fi ssd and password so here i'm going to click on wi-fi settings and we're going to change this name this is our wi-fi ssd i'm going to change any name you want i'll put a pick hub and uh, this i'll set it to broadcast or rather i'll leave the way it is and uh, this too i'll leave the way it is and password i'm going to still change it you can see this as our password one up to ten so i'm going to change it to any other password the same password and um you can uh click uh, this uh pure code for the wi-fi password but i'll uh, choose to click to not show it then i'll uh, click on modify and uh i'll click k okay. then i'll uh, proceed to advanced settings and this was my ip address for the you remember the modem so it has logged me out so we have to log in one more and one more time so this so this let let's wait you see here it is we have set and we are going to log into this is our router now we are going to log in with our new new password and login let's wait a little bit our modem is still there you can see our modem yeah it's a still blinking on so you can see it is connected but uh, we don't have internet because uh, we didn't uh, we not insert any sim card so i'm going to refresh this again to go back to the website the 4g website you refresh and here you have the advanced setting if you look on advanced setting here you can change your ip address you can see how the subnet mask and the uh, hcp you can either try to change this or leave it as it is here you have the apn this uh i'll just choose to leave it we have the upgrade we have the system password or you can set the system password right here so that only you can log into the system password and modify the TTL and uh, change the TTL value, but I'll choose. Okay, cannot be empty, but I'll choose to leave it like that. Others, this is the network name and the manufacturers. So this is an overview, and our uh, overview says that say our CCD name, and we are only connected to one device. So thank you guys for watching this video, and if you really love this gadget. Um, contact me and comment uh, on the comment section tell me how you know about this device tell me more about this device because i because i just found it and uh guys i love this thank you for watching and please subscribe